welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina. Today's video, we are going to be doing a Halloween tutorial. And this is the look right here, as you can see. And also, this video is a collaboration between me and the one and only glitter queen, Julia Salvia. So please go ahead and check out her collaboration with me. And go ahead and subscribe to her channel as well. She is amazing and she does a lot of different looks, especially Halloween time. She is the glitter queen. You know what I mean. But before we jump right to it, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it. That way you can get notifications whenever I upload new videos, which I do a lot of beauty reviews and tutorials. So check out those past videos as well. I already did my brows using the Goof Proof Pencil and Give Me Brow from Benefit. For my lids, I used the Wonder Primer, Prime and Behold Primer. And for this palette, I'm using the Milani Bare Necessities palette. And I'm using the medium brown shade in here. And I'm applying that with a fluffy brush all over my crease area. I'm also grabbing that brown shade um, in the outer corners of my eyes. And I'm just basically building that shade using the same fluffy brush. And then I'm slowly blending that in the inner corners of my eyes to just basically build the color all throughout my lids because I want like a brown smoky eye. To highlight that brow bone shade, I'm using the highlighter in this palette. And then I want my eyes to pop a little bit without it being too much. So I'm using the Get Lucky from the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and I'm applying this in the middle of my eyeballs. And using a flat shader brush, I am just blending that with the current eye situation that I have. And then I'm applying the Smashbox Photo Primer Finish all over my face to give me a nice clean canvas. And then going back to this palette, I'm using the dark brown shade and I am using a pencil brush that came with this palette and I'm just applying that underneath my eyes to basically smoke out the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna wing this out and I'm using the Ico Skinny Liner to apply my wing liner. Alright, moving on. I am using a foundation in here and I'm using the Fenty Beauty 270 foundation to apply this all over my face. And I absolutely love the finish of this foundation. And I'm also using the uh, Morphe 439 brush to apply this all over my face. Alright, so here I am moving on to the face and I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Contour and I'm using the shade Wildflower and this is the easiest way that I could find to draw a line across my face and build it without it being like too harsh. But I'm going to continue to thicken that line to make sure that we have a placement for an ombre effect later on. And then I'm going in with the Juvia's Place palette and I'm going in with the shade Morocco and this is a matte orange shade and I'm using a blending brush and this one is the Luxie Beauty blending brush and I'm applying this underneath the line that we placed earlier and I'm just basically building that color and thickening that line underneath to make sure that we have that ombre effect going on. Now I'm going in with the Meet Matte Hues palette from the Balm and I'm using that black shade in there and I'm applying this shade on top of that line that we filled out earlier and so that there is a little bit more of dimension in there so that's the only reason why I'm doing this and it felt flat for me so uh, I'm just basically shading the top part of the whole mask line thing that we have going on. Using a white face paint, I am going to apply some dots on top of my forehead area and in the middle and all over my forehead basically. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I achieve the look that I want. And in here, I'm just adding more designs and I'm putting a V in between my eyebrows and 
I kind of want these chevron look type of thing so I am going to keep putting the little V things down my nose and then also some dots on the wing area and then more lines and more dots everywhere in between so just basically have fun with this and do as you please there's no rules with this look okay so i got cold real quick so i had to put some shirt on but i am applying uh false lashes you can definitely put any false lashes that you want it's optional you don't have to do this but the one that i'm using is easy lashes from kiss for my lips, I'm using the the Rock Pro Liquid Lipstick in Plum Brown and I'm just basically applying this all over my lips. So I want a little bit of a golden hint to the lips and I'm using the Luxie Beauty Imagine eyeshadow and I'm just basically applying this all over my lips. And then I added some rhinestones to this look and I did use a lash glue to basically have the rhinestones stick to my skin and I applied like four or five of them and I applied it going down my forehead area to kind of like give me that princess vibe look so I really like it. So here is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I had a little bit of a difficulty with the payoff of this um, face paint, but it's not too bad. It's just that the white was really not as white as I thought it was going to be. But other than that, like I feel like this is very, very achievable, super easy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck and definitely put your own twist to this makeup look. And let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. I will see you guys again next time. I love you all. Bye.